Hey fam, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So this is going to be a quick video. We're going to talk about the five ways to understand if you are working with your ideal mate right after this. Thanks so much for coming back to I Love Me Me Me. So the five ways to understand if you are in a relationship or dating your ideal mate. I have to say that these are not mine. I, I got them from a book. You guys know that I love to read. The name of the book is called Mindset, The New Psychology to Success. And they specifically brought up relationships in there and your um, how to understand if you are with your ideal mate. Hence why I'm here today. Um, it's, but it's not a book about relationships, which is why I'm not doing a book review. But I am going to pay homage to Carol De Carol Dweck, which is the author of this book, and give you the five tips, okay? So the very first thing that you want your ideal mate to do is to challenge you. I absolutely have to agree. Actually, I agree with all of them, okay? But <laughs> I have to say that we do want somebody to challenge us. We do not want a person that is always a yes woman or a yes man. I mean, I want you to give me your actual opinion. And studies actually show that when you are not a yes person, you make the relationship funner, okay? Much more interesting. And you actually have an opinion about whatever the topic is that we're talking about. And that's okay. It's okay to challenge your partner to say, nope, that ain't right. That ain't going down. We're not doing it that way. Whatever it is, right? Obviously in a tactful manner, but you do not want to go along with every single solitary thing that your partner brings up because it just makes the relationship boring. The second thing to think about, ladies and gentlemen, is that absolutely being in a relationship with your ideal mate helps you and your mate to grow. I spoke about this in a recent video, and I, of course, link it up above and down in the description box below. I just mentioned this, that relationships are about growth. Growing separately while you're in the relationship, but also growing with your partner as a, as a team in that same relationship. It is about growth. If you guys are the same people when you met each other five years ago, there's something wrong with that picture because we are constantly growing. You should still be knowing things new about your partner because there are things that are going to come up that they're interested in, wanting to learn, wanting to do. You're going to find out different things about them. You guys should absolutely continuously be growing together as well as separately as individuals within your relationship as well. Because just because you find some things to be interesting doesn't always mean that your partner is going to want to find those things interesting as well. That also keeps the relationship interesting as well because wow. there, there, that actually gives you something to talk about when you guys come back together. And so you're inadvertently helping your partner grow because you're telling him or her something new that they didn't know about. Potentially, right? Potentially. The third way to know if you are with your ideal mate is that when they can see your flaws and your faults, and still love you anyway, but also help you out with them. Again, this is about growth. So you may be strong in the point that you can argue effectively. And I am piss poor in it. I am a person that name calls, I hold grudges, I talk loud, I over talk you. That could be something that you can help me out with. It is. But you see my flaw. You see my faults. But you still love me. And you're still helping me out with that. Because there are going to be some things and some times when you're like, oh my goodness, why do we have to keep talking about the same thing? But just like children, seriously, just like children, you have to keep telling them over and over again, sit down, sit down, stop, stop, no, no. Unfortunately, I have to compare our spouses and sometimes even us, sometimes we act like that. Or we just forget because you're, you're 20, you're 30, you're 40, 50, 60, etc. And you've been doing that same behavior pretty much your entire life. It takes a while for that thing to change and become a new habit. 
You have to consistently do it. You have to consistently correct your partner in a respectful manner, but you still have to correct them. Like, boo, that wasn't right. The way you just now talked to me, that wasn't right. That wasn't in a respectful manner. Would you be okay if I talked to you that way? And sometimes we just have to be the bigger person in our relationships and not be the over talker. Be the one that's actually listening. Because usually when a person is hurt, that person is ready to hurt you. What's that saying? Hurt people, hurt people. It's really true. And a lot of times when your partner is trying to over speak you and over talk you, I mean, they could be trying to slide out of something. A lot of times it's because they're hurting. They don't know how to express the hurt. And they also want to feel heard. So they're over talking you because you're not listening. And so they feel in order to get out all everything that I need to say, get it all out. I have to over talk you. I have to over speak you because you keep interrupting me, which means that you are actually not listening to what I'm saying, which is why I'm over talking you. Because I want you to hear me because I don't feel heard. I'm hurting here. I want you to hear what I'm saying. I want you to take it in. I want you to feel, feel me. I want you to understand the words that are coming out of my mouth. Okay, you get it. <laughs> understand the words that are coming out of my mouth, which is why I'm being so hostile at the moment. Because I'm really retaliating. I'm just trying to get you to hear me. The fourth thing to think about is that they encourage you to try new things. Now, a lot of us really, really, really just hate to come out of our comfort zone. We hate to come out of our box. But that's a part of growth, too. That doesn't mean that you're going to like it, but at least try it out. I'm encouraging you to try out something new. I want you to try it out with me. Yeah, with me, because we're going to have a good time together. Whether you think that you don't like it or not, once we actually get there, we going to have a good time together. We going to create some memories. That doesn't mean you have to go back ever again. But try it out. Try reading that book together and discussing it. Try going ice skating together and falling on y'all butts. But having a good time. Try going sledding down that big hill with all that snow. That fresh snow that just fell. Create some lovely memories. Like anything. You've never been horseback riding up a, up a mountain or by the beach? Let's do that. Try some new things. Make some new memories. Have more fun. The fifth and final thing to think about is to foster development, which is pretty much promoting the growth, um, encouraging them, and again, developing together. So you're fostering development so you guys can grow. So you are encouraging. It's basically wrapping all of this stuff up together. So fam, these are the five ways to understand if you are with your ideal mate. This absolutely makes sense to me. What is it that you thought about this video? Do you agree or do you not agree? Is it something that triggered that I said that you need to work on, that you need to start doing or you never thought about doing? But now it's time to incorporate it into your relationship. I would love to know because you guys know that this is a dialogue and not a monologue. I'd love to read your comments down below so we can continue the conversation outside of YouTube. And if you are not following me on any of my social media links, definitely do that. I am absolutely on Instagram and Twitter the most and then my Facebook fan page. But I hardly ever go on, um, on Snapchat. I'm not going to lie. I hardly ever go on Snapchat. Follow me on my social media accounts. I will see you guys again in a future video. Deuces.